Hey, welcome to my show. And today, without uh, further ado, we're going to be getting into um, a discussion of uh, this VXT24 that I got on the uh, surplus market. Uh, the uh, seller uh, accurately described the uh, damage to uh, the lens in the front and said it was for parts only and uh, could not test it. So, what we have here is a unit that's dated May 17th, uh, 2021, and it is uh, the newer type with the uh, adjustable uh, valve. And as you can see, there's some, um, looks like blue monster tape on here. Uh, normally the unit comes with a, a feeding from uh, right to left and somebody has adjusted it uh, to go the opposite way which is the, precisely what this uh, disc is for and this is the uh, thick disc uh, so it's an early version of this adjustable type with the uh, tape on the uh, spindle head so let's get right into it here and we'll just uh, power this up and see what happens. All right, so we have, when I got it, it was reading zero. I've uh, tested it, pushed the reset button there to set it to zero. Um, looks like the electronics are okay, at least as far as that's concerned. So let's go ahead and press the uh, feed button here and uh, find out what happens. Okay, that something ain't right. So um, let's find out whether it's the electronics or the um, Robert Shaw coil. So usually what I do is I'll take a, uh, a flat bladed screwdriver and pry these open and Okay, good, good. And uh, let's just uh, set this up here. See if the voltage is correct. We send in 24 volts to here. All right. All right, send in 24 volts. So let's look at the coil. Now you have to work this off. Oh yeah, it looks like also that someone had this wired up too. That's the uh, the knockout. Uh, they ran the wire to it. Uh, the disadvantage of the tape method, of course, is the tape tends to slide about on the spindle. Uh, we've discussed that in earlier videos. So let's take a closer look at this coil here. Um, let's put. Uh, let's set it to two hundred ohms. And what do we got there? Uh, I think about 1.6 ohms on this thing. Um, so I have another um, coil. This is uh, salvaged from an old um, uh, Unimatch. I love taking Unimatches apart and uh, grabbing what use I can out of them. And uh, if let's see if what this is supposed to be and it's looking like what do we got here about 18 19 ohms let's take another coil this is um, I'm not even sure who made this one at this time it's a pink color, which is the 24 volt uh, code. And we're getting about 18, 17, whoops, there we are, 17 ohms on that. So let's put this bad boy on and see what we got. Work it down and see if we're getting strange noises or... There we go. No buzzy noises, no clickety clackities. Um, so that's what happened with this one. Uh, somehow, 
this coil here uh, made it through uh, several quality control checks. Um, Robert Shaw's maybe, and then it made it through a uh, hydro levels check, or perhaps uh, it failed out in the field. I, I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. I don't know why this would have failed. Suffice it to say, this is now scrap. And uh, fortunately, I have enough of these coils to be able to uh, put this one back in operation and uh, uh, get this one rolling again. Uh, apparently, according to the uh, seller, uh, they they picked it up uh, surplus warehouse. Probably it was uh, um, purchased, installed, it failed in the field. Uh, the guy uh, who uh, took it off, took it back to the supply house, and they were going to probably throw it away, but somehow miraculously didn't go into the dumpster, uh, but wound up here on my bench. Um, so I'm going to try to give this guy some life and make it work. So a few more minutes here. This is the thin disc that uh, is current in a current production, and this is the uh, thick disc which uh, was not a uh, successful uh, introduction. And um, what I'm using it here for is to uh, sandwich it in this valve to allow for uh, rotation of the valve in the field um, much more easily um, using old stock um, bracket and so forth. We might get into that later if anybody has any, uh, wants, to, wants to see that. Uh, I'll make a video on... Um, how I handled that. And uh, um, anyway, thanks again for uh, looking at this and uh, uh, hope you all are well and safe and uh, see you the next time.